Welcome to Royal Vibes. Harry and Meghan tried to enforce the tour rules under threat of being kicked out from the visit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tried to enforce the rules of the royal tour with the media during their trip to The Hague for the Invictus Games, says one royal, an expert. Earlier this month, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited The Hague for the first Invictus Games since before the pandemic. Referring to the recent Royal Roundup, Royal reporter Richard Palmer claims that although the Sussexes are no longer working members of the royal family, the couple attempted to enforce royal tour rules during their appearance at the Games. Dot speaking to Pandora Forsyth, Mr. Palmer said. He Harry is quite media savvy in that sense. An interview NBC Today interview of Harry was given. He added. Although they the Sussexes are no longer active members of the royal family, both Harry and Meghan have attempted to enforce the rules and compromises that exist between the media and palace when members of the royal family to official obligations. You know, as a Dutch journalist told me, they were basically told that if you started asking them questions, they'd kick you out. Quote, before landing in The Hague, the couple flew to the UK to visit the Queen at Windsor Castle. Their visit to the 96-year-old Queen came less than a month after they decided not to attend the late Duke's funeral. From Edinburgh. In January 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced via their official Instagram account that they were stepping down as royals. They said the announcement came after many months of thought and internal discussions. Quote in the announcement, the couple stated that they intend to step down as senior members of the royal family and work towards becoming financially independent while continuing to provide their full support to Her Majesty the Queen. Before landing at the Horge, the couple flew to the UK to visit the Queen at Windsor Castle. Their visit to the 96-year-old comes less than a month after they decided not to attend the memorial service for the late Duke of Edinburgh. They said they plan to balance the years between Britain and North America while continuing to do our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth and our descendants' sponsorships. Last October, the couple publicly revealed their struggles amid media attention. Following their announcement in January, on February 19, 2020, Buckingham Palace confirmed the news. At the time, Buckingham Palace issued an official announcement that Reed Cullen, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have confirmed to Her Majesty the Queen that they will not be returning as active members of the royal family. So with that we have come to an end of this episode, thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. Until next time, bye.